because Adam made a pretty big gesture to Kim in offering to buy that house. And so I'm curious how much he's looking to the future and how much he really does think this is just for Kim and Michaela or how much he's envisioning himself joining the equation at some point soon. Um, I mean, I think he's been trying to join the equation for years now, but uh, no, I think, I think in, in all honesty, at least where I was coming from, I don't know where the writers are going with it, but uh, <clears throat> where, where I saw it coming from is just, it's not even about Kim as much as it's about Michaela, as much as it's about, you know, it was, I mean, man, I, I you know, I, I, I grew up on a farm personally. And if I were ever to have kids, I feel like I would, I don't want to move back home necessarily, but like I would probably bring them there because it was like the greatest, it was the greatest youth I could have possibly imagined. You know, like mom, you know, she got sick of us, go outside. And we go outside and we had creeks and we had hills and we had, you know, and I think that <clears throat> kind of going off on a tangent here, but I feel like that that's how he sees his home, even though when you look at the house, it's not entirely flooded with light. The backyard isn't huge, but it's just like, that's how he feels about it. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. like where a big part of his heart lies. And I think he just, he wants to share that with the kid, especially if she might wake up to some torturous memories that he wants to make sure that he's encased her in this goodness, in this uh, bubble that, you know, I think that he did have a, a tough youth, um, but he always had this, this home base that made him feel strong, made him feel good. And, um, <clears throat> and I think it's, it is less about Kim. I mean, I don't know that Kim's jonesing to move to Canaryville, you know? Um, I think it's more about giving, giving the child something that he thinks is important, giving her something of himself, you know? being, you know, he, he doesn't have the opportunity to share a lot of who he is, his name, his uh, everyday life with, with her. I think his, you know, as, as I watched the moment <clears throat> unfold, I thought it was very beautiful and manly for Ruzi to offer that you know, that way. You know, um, I have a son and I remember, I, I remember the first time I watched him play in my grandparents' backyard, which is the, grand, which is the backyard that I grew up playing in. And I remember how big that backyard felt, even though the older you get, you know, it starts closing in on you. It's like, oh, it's not as bad, as big as I thought it was, you know. <laughs> but to watch, to watch, um, you, to watch your offspring enjoy it in the same way that you did, um, and, and to watch it feel so big for them as well, I think that's a that, that's a very reasonable um, moment to 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 want from father to child. Right, and I think Ruzik is doing his best to, um, you know, to, to give a, a father-like input, even though he knows it's not the most ideal situation, but he also feels responsible for these young ladies. Um, so to me, I think it was a beautiful manly move. Um, I'm looking forward to next season to see how it pans out. Um, if Burgess doesn't acquiesce to, uh, to this beautiful offer, um, I think our water might have something to say about it. <laughs> yeah! Got someone on your side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm team Ruzik on this decision for real. 